हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म दॅट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सपोजिटरीज सपोजिटरीज आर द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स ऑफ द मेडिकामेंट फॉर इन्सर्शन इन टू द बॉडी कॅव्हिटी अदर दॅन द माउथ दे मे बी इन्सर्टेड इन टू द रेक्टम वजायना ऑर द नेझल कॅव्हिटी the medicament is incorporated into the suppository base and the product is formulated in such a way that it will either melt or dissolve in the body cavity fluid or re- to release the medicament medicaments are prescribed in the suppositories for the three reasons first of all that is to exert a direct action on the rectum second to promote the evacuation of the bowel then third to provide a systemic effect and the systemic treatment by the rectal route is for first of all, first for the treating patients who are unconscious or mentally disturbed then second one administering the drugs such as aminophylline that cause the gastric irritation or cause the vomiting or get destroyed in acidic ph suppository basis they should have the following properties they should melt at the body temperature they should keep their shape when being handled they should release the medicament readily they should be stable if heated above their melting point classification of suppository bases are fatty bases water soluble and water miscible bases and emulsifying bases fatty bases that are theobroma oil emulsified theobroma oil and hydrogenated oil then water soluble and water miscible bases are glycerogelatin base soap glycerin base polyethylene glycol that is called pg then emulsifying bases these are white epsol massa estranium estarinum and masupol preparation of suppositories there are three method rolling method hot process or which is called as a fusion method cold compression method rolling method the suppository base is rolled and then the desired shape is given with the hand hot process or fusion method in this the suppository base is melted the medicament is incorporated in it and filled in lubricated mold in this particular hot process or fusion method the heat is used cold compression method that is third method this method is useful for the thermolabile and insoluble drugs those which are susceptible to the heat that are called thermolabile substances for that this called compression cold compression method is used lubricants used for different bases serial number in the three name of the base coca butter glycerogelatin emulsifying base synthetic base and the lubricant used so for the first of all coca butter soft soap used 10 g glycerin 10 g alcohol 90% 50 ml then glycerogelatin base in that case lubricant used is liquid paraffin or rhs oil then third one emulsifying base that is a synthetic base in that case no any lubricant is used molds suppository molds of various types and the sizes are available having 6 to 12 cavities they are generally made up of stainless steel nickel copper alloy brass aluminum or plastic calibration of mold generally a standard mold of 1 g capacity is used the calibration is necessary because the size of the suppository remains same but the weight varies to find out the capacity of the mold with the coca butter as the base the following procedure is used in procedure lubricate the mold properly melt the base till the two third as it melts in evaporating dish in water bath remove from the heat stir till the rest melts overheating may occur if the base is left over the heat until completely melted fill each cavity of mold to overflowing the cavities are overfill to prevent the dispersions in the tops of the suppositories due to the contraction of the base during cooling leave till the mass has set and then remove the excess from the mold with a sharp knife or razor blade or slightly warm spatula leave in a cool place for 10 to 15 minutes then open the mold and remove the suppositories weigh individual suppository and find the average weight displacement value the volume of a suppository from a particular mold is uniform but its weight will vary because the densities of the medicament differ from the density of base 
the quantity of the drug which displaces the one part of the base is known as a displacement value for an example displacement value of iodoform is a 4 which means the 4 grams of the iodoform displaces the 1 gram of the cocoa butter as a base packaging and storage the suppositories are packed in the partitioned boxes that hold the suppositories upright glycerin and the glycerinated gelatin suppositories are packed in the tightly closed screw cap glass containers Many commercial suppositories are wrapped in the aluminum foil or PVC that is polyvinyl chloride, polyethylene, theobroma oil suppositories should be refrigerated. Labeling, store in a cool place is necessary. The warning should be for rectal use only or for vaginal use only should be given in the red ink. So we will discuss in detail about the experiments in the next session. Experiment number 71. Title of this experiment is to prepare and submit soap glycerin suppository BPC, British Pharmaceutical Codex 5 gram. In this we are going to study the calibration of mold and method of preparation. Learning objectives are to formulate the suppositories by using different bases and ability to prepare, pack and label suppositories carefully. Apparatus required are beaker, glass rod, spatula, china dish, molds, etc. Factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 5 upon 102 that is equal to 0 0.049. So we have this is a prescription which is denoted by symbol Rx glycerin 90 gram, sodium carbonate 4.5 gram, stearic acid 7.5 gram. Let's discuss in detail about the formulation table. Type that is category, user, role of ingredient, translation means the name of ingredient. As we don't have the quantity given in imperial system as formula is not given in the Latin terminology. So quantity given in metric system for preparing 102 gram and quantity taken in metric system for preparing 5 gram. As we have to prepare 5 gram because we have the suppository mold which is having the capacity to deliver 4 suppositories. So we are preparing for 5 gram as 1 gram is excess for overfilling the mold properly. So first glycerin viscosity enhancer which is used in the quantity, quantity given is 90 gram, taken quantity is 4.41 gram. This quantity should be calculated with the help of factor. Sodium carbonate, it is used to increase the peristaltic movement of the bowel. Quantity given is 4.5 gram, taken quantity should be 0 0.22 gram. Stearic acid used as a solubilizing agent and lubricant. The quantity given should be 7.5 gram, taken quantity should be 0 0.37 gram. All these taken quantities are calculated with the help of factor, direction to be used as directed by physician. So we have this is a sodium carbonate which is a previously wet, this is stearic acid and this is a glycerin. And this is the paraffin liquid which is used for lubricating the mold as I lubricated this suppository mold previously with the help of this paraffin liquid. So now I am taking this evaporating dish into which I am going to add this glycerin and after adding glycerin now I am going to add this sodium carbonate into it and then we will proceed for next heating of it onto water bath. So I heated this mixture onto this water bath and after heating it properly So after heating now I am going to add this stearic acid into it then again stir it properly mix it I am stirring this solution till it's proper mixing. So after proper mixing of it, now we will proceed for filling of this into that previously lubricated mold. Now I am going to pour this formed mixture into this previously lubricated mold. So I am going to fill all these four cavities of this mold and overfill this mold. So after filling this mold, now we are putting, let's see, I overfill this mold and then we are, 
so let's see i overfilled this mold now i am going to put this overfilled suppository mold into this freezer and then we will freeze it for next few hours till the suppositories will get formed see after few hours our suppositories are get formed and freeze properly so now i am going to wrap each suppository into this butter paper separately and then we will store it into this wide mouth container so now we will proceed for formulation of suppository which are packed into butter paper and then store into this wide mouth uh, container so suppository four suppository for abc that is the name of patient register number xyz that is the number given in the register dispatched by pqr that is the name of pharmacist manufacturing date september 2020 store in cool and dark place most of the suppositories are always stored in the refrigerator for rectal use only or in some cases that may be used for vaginal use also to be used as directed by physician manufactured by element from c nasi result the four suppositories are stored into this white mouth bottle for inspection with special instruction on label as for rectal or vaginal use only thank you